Hello, today we are going to look at how to print the sort of even or odd numbers from 1 up to any given number using the while loop. First, I will declare a variable called number. The purpose of this variable is to hold input from the keyboard. So let me say to hold input. Now, the while loop has what we call the control variable. The control variable controls the number of iterations of the while loop. Here I will declare another variable and I'm calling it stats. And I will initialize stats to 1. So I'm commenting on this and I'm calling it the control variable. Initialize to 1. Now this means that iterations will begin from the value 1. Now the user has to tell the program the number that he or she wants to find the sort of even number from 1 up to that number. In this case, because I want to take input from the keyboard, I have to define a scanner object to take inputs from the keyboard. I'm going to use the scanner um, class here, so I will define a scanner object or create a scanner object here so let me add a comment here create scanner object so I have scanner here and the moment you create a scanner object or you create um, a reference variable to reference the scanner object you have to import the scanner class above I have set my IDE such that anytime I want to create a scanner object, the IDE automatically imports the scanner class. In your case, if you've not set your IDE to do that, then you have to manually import the scanner class. All right. So the moment I press on the enter, I saw this here, import java.util.scanner. And the purpose of this is that is needed for the scanner class. So if your IDE is not set to automatically import this, then you have to do that manually. Now I'm going to define a reference variable, a scanner reference variable, and I'm calling it in. In is a reference variable that will reference any scanner object that I will create. In other words, the reference variable in holds the address or the memory address of the scanner object that I'm going to create. Now I will use the new keyword to create a scanner object here. And I'll pass system.in to it because I want to take import from the keyboard. Alright, so that is that. So now a scanner object has been created. The second thing I want to do here is that I want something to be printed on the console so that the user will know what is happening in the program. So I'll type system dot out dot print and I'll say enter a number. The user is going to see this on the screen and the user will enter a number here. That number that will be entered here will be handled by the variable number. Here I have to call the reference variable of the scanner object that is in because I want to call the scanner methods to be able to take input from the keyboard. Now that I have taken my number, I can now use the while loop to cycle through the sort of numbers or integers from one up to the given number. I will now bring my while loop. What this means is that while stats, that is while the value, the initialized value 1 is less than or equal to the number I entered here, you know, I want the while loop to go on executing a sort of statements. So while stats is less than or equal to the number, I want you to do this first. As you go through the numbers that is from 1 up to the given number, I want you to test and see if the number at a time 
when you divide it by 2, is the remainder equal to 0? If the remainder is equal to 0, then that number is an even number. So if the remainder is equal to 0, then I want you to print the number out. Okay. And right after printing it out, I want you to increment or increase the value of the control variable. That is very important. The first statement that you see here is called initialization. And what you see in here is what we call the Boolean expression. This has to be true before the while loop will iterate. And if we don't keep on changing the value of the stats or the initialization, it means that the while loop is the Boolean expression in the while loop is always going to test true. If we do not keep on changing the value of the stats or the initialization, I mean, during the iteration, it means that the value of the start is going to be constant, and that means that the Boolean expression here is always going to be true, and that will turn it into an infinite loop. So right after this, I have to increment the value of my control variable, and it is going to be this. So let me put something there. Increment starts. All right, let me use increase, increase stats by one. Now, let us go back to look at the program. Um, here, first, I declared a variable called number to hold inputs that I'll take from the keyboard. Secondly, because I'm going to use the while loop, I have to get the control variable so that it will control the iterations of the while loop. I decide to call it stats and of course that is also an integer. The while loop has to get initialization, what I call the primary read. So I initialize it to 1. I initialize it to 1 because I'm finding a set of numbers from 1 to a certain given number. The next thing that I did was to create a scanner object here. I created a scanner object because I need to take input from the keyboard. So I created a scanner object using the new keyword and passed the command system.in so that I could take input from the keyboard. Now, I also typed system.out.print or I call the print method to print enter a number, this string enter a number to the console. When, when the user sees this, the number that he or she enters in is actually being assigned to the variable number. In other words, the number is stored in the variable number. Now, the next thing is that now that I have my primary read or I have my initialization and I have the number inputs, I cannot go on to state the Boolean expression of my while loop. And this means while 1 is less than or equal to the given number. For example, if I enter the number 6 here, it means that during the first iteration, it is going to be while 1 is less than or equal to 6. And of course, 1 is less than or equal to 6. So that means that during the first iteration, this Boolean expression will test to be true. It will have, you know, true as the result. And if it is true, then the set of statements under the while loop will all execute here. So the first to execute will be the if statement. And it will also check and see if the number, in this case 1, divided by 2 is the remainder 0. The percentage sign that you see here is what we call the modulo um, operator. Or we can also call it the remainder operator. It essentially divides and gives out the remainder. For example, in, in this case, 1 divided by 2, the result is... Um, when I divide 1 by 2, what is the remainder? Is the remainder equal to 0? That is what is, you know, being expected here. We are not looking for the quotient. We are rather looking for the remainder here. And that is why we call it the modulo um, operator. So if that is true, then execute the statement under the if statement. So if when I divide the number by 2, the remainder is equal to 0. In other words, if it is an even number, then I have to print that number. Then I print a space and 
it goes down here now when it comes down here that is what we call the update expression this keeps updating the control variable now when the control variable is not updated it tends to be an infinite loop it means that the boolean expression is going to test through infinitely so you have to be changing the um the control variable either you are increasing it or you are decreasing it based on the initialization and what you expect from the loop so that is essentially what is happening here so when i run this program and i type in any number the program is going to give me the sort of even numbers from one up to that number now let us check it and see from here the while loop will end here i created a scanner object here and the id is telling me that i have not closed the scanner object and that is the reason why you see this yellow hand here so it says there is a resource leak because in is never closed now let me do that before i go on So this closes the scanner objects and when I go back to check there will be nothing here to warn me that I am, I am leaking my resources. We cannot check the program to see if it works correctly. First it says I should enter a number. I'm going to enter the number 100. Then look at what it prints. It prints the set of even numbers from 1 up to 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, or up to 100. So these are the set of even numbers from 1 up to 100. Now what if I wanted the set of odd numbers? It is very similar to this. I just have to change one statement here. Now in the if statement, I'm going to change this relational operator. Here it says that if I divide the number by 2 and the remainder is 0, then it has to print it. This time around, if I divide it by 2 and the remainder is not equal to 0, I want you to print it. That means that is an odd number. An odd number is a number that is not exactly divisible by 2 or it is any number that which when you divide it by 2, you get a remainder other than 0. So I'm going to use this not operator here and this means if the number starts divided by 2 the remainder is not equal to 0 then print it I'm going to type the same number 100 and I'll find a sort of odd numbers from 1 up to 100 let me test the program and see I'm going to enter 100 here and now look at what I have. Instead of 2, 4, 6, I now have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Of course, up to 99 because the 100 itself is not an odd number. It's an even number. So this is the way that you can print the sort of even or odd numbers from 1 up to any given number. You can extend the range to anywhere that you want. You can extend it from um, negative numbers up to positive numbers. Thank you.